Welcome to Eternal Mena, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at Psalm 61, the 10 remedies for a fainting heart. And today I want to come to remedy number 10. And it's given to us in two places of Psalm 61. Verse 8, daily fulfill all the vows that you make to God. Now today uh, we don't necessarily use the word vow. We uh, more frequently use the word promise. Daily we need to make sure that we fulfill all the promises that we make to God. Verse 5, David says, For you have heard my vows. In other words, God takes our vows very, very seriously. So when we have a fainting heart, yes, we uh, make promises to God. But we need to make sure that we fulfill them. And only in so doing is our heart revived and strengthened. So Ecclesiastes 5.4 says, When you make a vow to God, do not delay in fulfilling it. God has no pleasure in fools. Fulfill your vows. So that's a very serious verse. Uh, it's better not to make a vow than make a vow, forget about it, and not fulfill it. We need to think through the vows that we make because there are consequences. We all know about the foolish vow that Jephthah made in the heat of battle. I think he was emotionally moved when he made that vow that he was going to sacrifice the first thing that comes out of his house when he uh, is victorious in battle. He made that vow to God. And uh, unfortunately, the first thing that came out of Jephthah's house was his beloved daughter. And uh, to Jephthah's credit, he kept his vow. And uh, there are various interpretations as to how Jephthah kept that uh, vow. But uh, we don't need to go into the details. But he made a foolish vow and then he kept that vow. So we need to be discerning when we make these vows before God. I would like to remind you of the vow that uh, Hannah made uh, when she was greatly disturbed, distressed. She had a fainting heart and she did the right thing. She went to the house of God and in great bitterness of soul, she prayed to her God. Now listen to her words in 1 Samuel chapter 1 and verse 11. She made a vow saying, O Lord Almighty, if you will only look upon your servant's misery and remember me and not forget your servant, but give her a son, then I will give him to the Lord all the days of his life. Hannah made a vow in the temple. She had wept bitterly before the Lord. She desired to have a son to overcome the shame and the stigma that existed in that day when you were barren and childless. She understood the dark times that the nation was going through morally and spiritually. And she wanted a son, not for selfish reasons, but for the glory of God. A son who would become a mighty prophet and turn the nation back to God. And we know that Hannah kept her vow because God answered, gave her a son. She weaned the son 
And then uh, listen to the words in 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 28. Her words to Eli, the priest. Now I give my son to the Lord for his whole life. He will be given over to the Lord. And uh, Samuel was handed over to Eli and to the temple to be mentored in order to become a priest and a prophet. So Hannah is a wonderful example for all of us of someone who made a vow when she had a fainting heart and she kept the vow and the nation of Israel had a mighty prophet in the person of Samuel. Amen.